Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily. Coming up on today's show, we've got exclusive footage of the world's best boulderers cranking hard in Mexico, the results from the latest round of the Ice Climbing World Cup, and we've got a teaser from the upcoming Epic TV series, Sub-Zero. The latest round of the Ice Climbing World Cup has just taken place in champigny on vanoise in France, and this round was dominated once again by the Russians. The winner in the women's event was Maria Tolokanina. This is her first win of the season, although it's her third podium, and she now moves top of the overall rankings. Just behind her is Italian Angelica Reina. She's been on the podium at every event so far, including a win two weeks ago in Sasfe. Meanwhile, over in the men's event, Nikolai Kozovlev won, beating Park Hee Yong, who won in Sasfe and remains in first place overall. That leaves Kozovlev in fourth place overall, and the Tomilov brothers continue to be a big threat. Maxim is in second, and Alexei is in fifth. The next round of the World Cup, scheduled to take place in Italy, has unfortunately been cancelled due to bad weather, so the competitors will head to the final round in Russia with it all to play for. Up next, we've got some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage from Jimmy Webb, Daniel Woods and Paul Robinson climbing in Mexico. The boys are making a new series for Epic TV and we caught up with them to find out how it was going. Paul, Jimmy and Daniel have been climbing down in Penulis, Mexico, an area originally opened by their friend Diego Montal, where they've discovered a plethora of boulder problems. This was my first trip to Penoles. I have heard about it for years and years, but this was the first time that I actually made it down here. The main challenge of the trip definitely was the weather. Um, we wanted to climb all day long, every single day, but unfortunately our climbing was really limited to about one hour before sunset, and as long as our headlamps could last into the evening, which really wasn't that long uh, with the ultras. So we kind of didn't really get to climb nearly as much as we wanted to. One of the hardest problems for the guys was El Diablo, a V15 boulder problem that Daniel could only attempt during the evening, as such was the heat during the day. Fourth day here on the El Diablo Praj, and it's kind of just coming down to this one last move, being able to like stick this final throw to this little two finger spike that's sticking out from the wall. and. It's just hard because this wall bakes all day long and you just wait all day, do nothing, just bake in the sun and then you get your moment to try it in the evening and so this is day four and just going to have to really give it a, everything. <laughs> Thanks fellas, looking forward to seeing the finished product. To close out the week, we're going to leave you with a snippet from the upcoming Epic TV series, Sub-Zero, which follows some of Canada's best ice climbers on some of the best routes in the country. This looks good. See you next week. I don't see safe as a fixed point. I sort of see it as a spectrum or a continuum. There's risk or likelihood that things will happen and there's a consequence that those things do happen. My development in ice climbing has been a real process. It's been constant challenges, setbacks, you know, failures. But uh, I think because climbing is never ending, you can always improve. And uh, I love how deep the rabbit hole goes. When I started ice climbing, it was a dangerous, stupid sport. And uh, actually not much has changed, but it's, uh, it's such a dramatic and beautiful sport. You, know, you climb frozen water. Ice is generally not a good thing in life, but if you're an ice climber, you can go out and climb really cool stuff, and that's what makes it unique. Who else but Adam Ondra has made the second ascent of Chris Sharma's first round, first minute, which he gave a grade of 9B or 